Hey everyone, welcome back to more of the Pale Beyond. I'm Disturbing Puppet. We're now into week nine, hopefully surviving. Um, not really doing super great. Uh, the ship is gone, so that's a bit of an issue. We've got something going on over here. That's uh, potentially a problem. Yeah, the ship sank below the ice. We did get the camp set up first, so we're good on that front. Food is becoming a major issue. We did catch a bunch of seals last week. I thought we got more than five. That's not enough food. So you provide six apiece, and we got five of you, so that's only 30, so it gets me to 35. We need 50 to kind of give everybody a decent amount of food each week. So that's not great. We might have to actually use some of the spoiled rations. I don't really want to do that. I'm hoping it's like per each can, one person gets malnutrition, something like that. So this would take us to 35. We'd actually have to use two cans. Crap. That's not good. I don't really have a lot of other choices. We're also kind of running low on heat. Um, I don't know how long we're going to be here on the ice. I don't remember. I think you said 35 weeks. If it's 35 weeks, we're doomed. Like, we're going to freeze to death really soon because we don't have a lot of heat. Um, we're going to have to drop down to low heat soon-ish, I think. I do have the research I need for the Emperor Penguins, so that's something we can check out here. Um, do I want to check this first before we do our regular requests? I think I will. Um, we've got just kind of a few other basic things here we'll start to check out. Alright, we've got Kirk talking to somebody. Well, seems the crew are adapting nicely. Getting on with their jobs like clockwork. Feels like we're back on the open ocean again. They know we're in for the long haul. Well, I'll see to it that they're keeping up the good work. You see to it that they're entertained when the work is done. I... You're short on words, aren't you? Prefer to talk through your music, eh? Sailor with the heart of a poet. Sure. <laughs> yeah, Grimley's a bit short on words at times. I'm not sure who this is. Okay, it's Hammond. You see Hammond hard at work on the boiler. Shit. Is there a problem? No, force a habit. <laughs> Don't need me asleep at the post. Need something, Captain? No, just checking in. You don't need to. If there's any problems, you'll know. I know what I'm doing, Shaw, if that's what you're wondering. That's not what I'm wondering. If you don't need anything, I'm getting back to work. Yeah, I'm just checking on him to make sure he's still doing okay. Um, we don't have an option of like rotating him out with the other engineers, it seems like. So that's kind of an odd thing. Uh, I think he'd want to do that. Hey, Cordell, some doggies down here. I do like the little uh, dog glues, as they said. Like e glues for dogs. We should actually be doing something like this for our people. Cordell says, Captain. We've had our share during the hunting season, but that appears to be winding down. I wouldn't put my faith in there being an abundance of game in the coming weeks. And that's a problem. That's a really big problem. I'm very much relying on hunting to kind of keep us going here. I don't know if it's possible to last 35 weeks. Uh, we are looking at minus 25 degree temperature, so that's pretty bad. Let's deal with requests, I guess. Yeah, everything's mostly okay. We do have some people cold. We've got some people demoralized. We can cure one demoralized. I think we can... I don't think we can actually do anything about people being cold. Just people with frostbite. I think that's just cold, right? No one actually has frostbite. Do they? Freezing. Where's the other one? Who else is freezing? Okay, her. That's really hard to see, though, on her. Could be just my old eyes, but, you know, I don't see a lot of difference between this and this. I guess there's a slightly different, you know, color change kind of pulsing, but it's not really obvious at all. Should It'd be nice if that was much more obvious. The purple is a little easier to see, but even that sometimes is a little difficult. All right, let's deal with our requests here. No, it's only Junior. Okay. 
Easy. Shaw, I got a matter to settle with you. Tucker also involved. I don't see the problem here. Tucker was going through his personal belongings on the ship and we found this. A tin of treats. Biscuits, confectionaries, quite a lot. Ah, oh, no, I was hiding them away. They're just my own private selection. A gift from my grandmother before the expedition. Make them herself. I understand you see these as your personal effects, and that was true at a point, but as it stands, food is food, and we need all we can. You cannot reasonably hoard it to yourself. They're hardly filling, they're just some biscuits. They're filling enough. Listen, now's not the time to keep something like this to yourself. Yeah, we could potentially save them for later. That's interesting. But what would stop him from just kind of eating them whenever he wants? I would think, like, if... Like, he's going to be upset, but if we told the crew, hey, this guy has food, he's going to keep it all for himself, and you don't get anything, that's going to piss everybody else off at our decision, but also at Tucker. Um... Yeah, I think we just add it to the rations. That makes the most sense. Agreed. Hand in the tin, it'll join our rations. Alright. I understand. Times like this. Okay, so we just get a free tin. Interesting. So that is enough to get us through the week, feeding everybody just normally. Totally fine. Okay. So I'm curious how this is going to work. The first thing I'm going to do, since we have the research, find the Emperor Penguin Migration Path. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, it's going to take dogs to do that as well. Okay. Hunt the Migrating Emperor Penguin. Oh, I thought it would be like, it would maybe open up more spots. Instead, it looks like it's a special hunting operation. Okay. In which case, we should only do this when we absolutely need to. We should hold off on this, because these are probably really good hunting opportunities. I thought it would be like it would unlock a location that doesn't disappear when we check it out. Because right now, if we hunt a location, it's gone. So I thought it would give us like a location we could go to every week, and it would just limit how many people I could send to, and something like that. But that doesn't appear to be the case at all. Okay. Um, so it is a special expedition, does take extra dogs. We have an option to do some hunting at the moment. I think what we do is just scout and hunt anyway, like normal. I think these are the emperor penguins anyway. So this is just sort of like, oh, you don't have any other hunting options, so you can use research to get a special hunt going, I think. At least that's what I'm assuming. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and do a little scouting then. So let's check this out. Click. Okay, we got some more crab eater seal locations. Good. Um, I definitely want, you know, hunting locations is kind of ideal. The further out we go, it seems like the worse things are. So this is the next one that's kind of on this tier, so we'll check it. Yorick. Okay, we got little tiny penguins. So we could do multiple hunting missions then. The little tiny penguins are actually the same as the crab eaters. I think it's six a piece. But let's go for the big ones here. And we'll just send as many people as possible. Uh, so if we send you out, we can still scout another location. So actually, let's hold off here for a second. Let's scout another spot first. We're getting out, like, really far, though. I'll just randomly check this, I guess. Oh, it takes more because we're going further. Okay, gotcha. Oh, we found fish, it looks like. Okay. Interesting. So that's something we can do for the dogs, then, specifically. Maybe we can mix it and have some for the dogs and some for us. 
All right, so we only have enough to do one. So yeah, depending on the distance. So further out, the more connections, it's going to cause more dogs to, to head out that far. Yeah, let's do a hunt on the big ones. I don't really have much to do for the engineers, honestly. So I'm going to send both of you out. You're freezing. We can check out another science location, or can I? Wait a moment. No, I can't. So yeah, we'll just send the scientists out to hunt too. Fine. Alright, so we're gonna hunt emperor penguins. We're sending both engineers. We're sending the scientists out as well, although not the freezing one. Get a bunch of emperor penguins. Mr. Zack, Mr. Gloss, Grips, and Dick are marked down to hunt for the week. Okay, and that's all our dogs. We can't do anything else, but we do have a couple other hunting spots um, that we found that are good to go, and we've got some science uh, research spots too. Okay, so I think I know how that works, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll, we'll have to see. I think it'll be just sort of, it's like a special hunt. You burn those uh, research points and they're, they're gone forever, so you just get a one-time shot at whatever it is. All right. Is there anything? I don't see any dots or anything. Well, here we're going to go ahead and assign somebody who is unhappy. So we have Runt and we have Gnomes. Uh, let's have Gnomes. We get research for that too, which is kind of nice. I can only do that for one person though. So we'll just have to cure the other one on the later next day. Uh, yeah, as far as the people who are frozen, they should be fine once we have a day with regular heat. Although it seems like there's a chance they develop some other condition. Freezings. No one has frostbite, so we don't need to put anybody in the med bay. I don't know if med bay would get rid of the uh, freezing status effect. I would assume not, but I'm not 100% sure. As long as we have enough fuel, they'll be okay. Um, when we don't have enough fuel, then we might try that and see if it'll get rid of freezing. We're lit, Captain. Alright, well... So that gets me to enough. So I don't need to burn or set anything else in. But if we have extra, it just stays. So we just kind of, we set decide how much we want to burn. So I could put like more stuff in if I wanted to. Like we could put, go ahead and put some timber in, I guess. Just so we have it ready to go. We can even burn the um, spoiled rations, although it really doesn't add much. We're probably going to use this for emergency food. Okay, we're good to go on that. Crew need fed for the week. Yep. Okay, so we do actually have the tinned food. We're going to have to use it because I don't have enough. We've got 30 here. So it takes all the seals and that tin of food that we got from that event just to kind of barely feed everybody. So I'm hoping the Emperor Penguins are worth a lot. So these guys are worth six so for medium, but even the small penguins were worth six. So I'm hoping the Emperor Penguins are worth like at least ten apiece. Okay, spice crates add nothing because we're still eating normal food. Doesn't seem like there's anything special going on this week. No conversations, nothing to listen to. Let's see where my mouse is. There's my mouse. Okay, yeah, we'll just feed everybody. Crew have their meal. 
crew return to their post despite the time. It's still bright outside. All right. Now we've got a few random things here and there. Start out here, talk to Kurt. You're married, aren't you, Robin? I know a thing or two about that. Or rather, I thought I did. Tell me, how do you make it work? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not so sure that I do. Oh. Well, that's something you and I share. We have that at least. Grimly. He stares at you before nodding to his sleeping bag. Yeah, he's not really interested in talking to me about anything. Let's check in on Cordell. Evening, Captain. There's a song that found itself stuck in my head earlier. Dogs were pleased when I began humming it. I fear I may have to make it a habit. I don't think she would like either one of these responses, really. Music reminds me of home. I take it to be the same for you. There is no home to be reminded of. I prefer to keep moving. Perhaps the ability to do so is what I miss. Alright. Yeah, I'm wondering how long it's going to go before we get to the option of eating the dogs. I feel like that's coming. Who's talking outside here? That's like Lefty and somebody... Tucker. Barely any taste of these fucking cigs. I mentioned before, what brand are they anyway? Apperton. Same group who tins those peaches. Yeah, alright. Yeah, they're not very good at anything. Yeah, they're shite. At least there's plenty of it. I'd rather there wasn't. I'd rather be craving at a time like this? I suppose not. It's just... I don't know. What do they know about tobacco? Fair point. Let's check inside. Okay, we can talk to Dr. Nutley. Captain, is there anything you miss from home? I don't mean anything important. I'm sure there are people you miss. I mean small comforts. Hmm. People, mostly. Not exactly a small comfort, but I understand. It's difficult not to think about my family. Personally, I miss tea. I would drink a cup every morning and right before sleep. I didn't think I would miss such a simple habit so much. Yeah, I mean, amazing what you miss if you can no longer have it. Something's like regular routine for you. Run stasis. What's that? One of the doctor's books. Since when could you read? It's got pictures, duh. <laughs> You're interested in medicine, are you? A little. Better work than this, anyway. Alright, Hammond usually doesn't want to talk. Worked with a lot of captains in my time. Half of them don't know their arse from their elbows. You're different from most of them. Better or worse? Different. We'll see, won't we? Junior? I'm gonna call it a night, see you for breakfast. Yeah, I think depending on your relationship with people, they're willing to share more or not. Something going on here. That's Kasha and Templeton, I think. Kasha. Reading, Mr. Templeton. Yes, that's difficult to find light. Do those your age still read, or has intellectualism passed us by? Well, I haven't read Chilling Horror, like yourself. Is that a collection, Mr. Templeton? It is a good read, nonetheless. Alright, I could get down with reading some horror stories while being trapped out on the ice. Sure. I must retire for the evening. I'll see you for the morning's requests. Okay, I think that's everything. Nothing too crazy. We're actually going to make it through relatively unscathed. A very short week this week. Didn't have much for anybody to do, really. So, one person cured of malnourishment? I don't think that's correct. I think it's just standard because of what we're doing. Can remember, people will be cured of freezing, people will be cured of malnourishment because we're doing normal food, normal rations. Um, yeah, we're going to have a problem with heat very, very soon. 
Like, we might be in serious trouble. Okay, we got five Emperor Penguins. Dick got freezing out on the hunt. Gnomes is no longer demoralized. Tucker's back to being normal. Well, we got Frostbite. Alright, I mean, that's something we can deal with. I actually have too many people now for what I'm doing. I don't have enough stuff for people to do. That looks like it's breaking up more. Am I crazy? Like, is that... I wonder if this is going to split off. Like, are we actually going to have, like, this split and break away at some point? Like, where this was? Where the ship sank? It looks like there's way more cracks and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised, too, if it made us like, oh, you've got to move camp now. Something crazy like that. That's going to really suck. Uh, just out of curiosity, before we end, I just want to see. Okay, so these guys are worth nine, so it's not as much as I was hoping. But that is enough to get us through the week. So we've got 45 plus the five we had left over. It gets us exactly the amount of food we need. When it comes to fuel, that's a bit more of an issue. We've got no more coal. We have to burn our timber. I should have raided the ship more, probably, beforehand. I think we're going to die in about... Well, I don't know how long it'll take us to die, but we're going to, like, everyone's going to be cold soon. Then everyone's going to be frostbit. Then we start dropping dead the week after that. So, five weeks? Something like that is what I'm thinking. That's probably about as far as we're going to make it. I don't know if we're going to make it any further than that. All right, we're going to go ahead and call it there. So it's the end of the week. Game is saved. So we will progress next time at the start of week 10. Although I'm not super confident we're going to survive this. Um, we will see how it goes and see how bad it gets. I wonder, when does cannibalism and eating dogs come into the picture? Uh, we'll find out. Come back more for Pale Beyond and find out exactly when we start murdering and eating each other. All right, thanks a lot for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you again another time. Until then, have a good one.